Okay, then I got some of these Jimmy Dean fully cooked. Ugh. and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I have a grocery haul. So Adam and I went to Meijer. We got a lot of stuff. We needed a lot of stuff just like the basics but we got some new things that we haven't tried in a while and I'm excited to go through them. So if you enjoy this video or find it helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and let's get started. So Meijer is one of our favorite places to go for groceries but the one thing about them is that they don't always have the best produce. So we actually planned to go to somewhere else to get produce but then we started at Meijer and saw that their produce looked good today. So we ended up just getting it. We didn't need too much. It was kind of just the basics. So I'm going to quickly run through those. It's a lot of the same stuff as always. So like my normal bell peppers, I got some red ones and some yellow ones. They actually looked really good. And I just used those for veggie mix for a bunch of different meals. If we're going to have like a Mexican dish or something, I can do like some sauteed peppers and onions. So I have some yellow onions in the fridge, but I needed some red onions. Then I got some honey crisp, which actually I have to show you guys. This is insane. We ran out of honey crisp apples and Adam was at the store so he happened to just grab me some and he came home with honey crisp apples that were seriously the size of my head like this is the apple that he brought me and then these are the apples I got today which are still on the bigger side honestly like I don't even have they don't even look that different up close but like this thing I weighed it and I calculated the calories and it's about 300 calories whereas a normal apple is like 80 so this is like three of regular apples that I eat in a day and they're just massive but I just wanted to show that because I thought that was funny I have my honey crisp apple every day after dinner so I've been eating those massive honey crisps and then I'm just like done for the night it is so filling so zero points for me and something that I actually look forward to every night it's really just become like part of my routine so if I don't have my apple we actually when we were in Florida made sure to have honey crisp apple so I could have one every night but anyway also got some bananas so we just use these for protein shakes we're completely out so we got two things of them and then some zucchini that I got for veggie mix so I also got some blueberries for my yogurt these looked pretty good they had some giant ones but I actually prefer them when they're a little bit smaller like this so I got those for zero points for yogurt and then these grapes looked amazing so I say this every time but we think that they taste better when they're in these plastic containers these are just green seedless grapes and and they're zero points. Adam likes to pack them for lunches. I like to have them with my breakfast or lunch just on the side. Okay, now moving on to some other things. So this has become a go-to thing that I've been buying lately if I can find it. It is the Sargento Reduced Fat Pepper Jack Cheese Slices. So these are only two points for one slice, 60 calories, four grams of fat, then five grams of protein for one. And they just have good flavor. I don't think that they're too spicy. I really like pepper jack cheese and I think they have good flavor. I like to use them on sandwiches, whether it's like a breakfast sandwich or a tuna sandwich or even we've been making lunch meat sandwiches lately so it's nice to just have this in the drawer then I also needed some light shredded cheeses and I was happy to see that Meyer had some reduced fat shredded cheese in their brand so I don't think I've gotten these before maybe I have I feel like they usually have a different brand that has reduced fat but today I got the Meyer brand so they had sharp cheddar and Colby Jack so it's just like the Trader Joe's reduced fat that I use it's three points for the serving of a quarter cup both of them are 90 calories six grams of fat one carb and eight grams of protein so a good option for eggs pasta pizzas just anything like that I still have some Trader Joe's light mozzarella in there so that's why I wanted to get the cheddar and the Colby Jack okay then we got some imitation crabs so they just had the leg style today which is perfect I like to use these for poke bowls or stir fry or sesame noodles and for the serving for each stick like this it is one point on ww but for three pieces it'd be three points 90 calories it's got 14 carbs four grams of sugar and six grams of protein so again this is just the meyer brand i just got it because it's cheaper then we got some bacon so i just like to get any kind of center cut i don't really care about the brand it looks like this is also the meyer brand but it's called fredericks but it's center cut bacon so each slice is one point for two slices, it's two points, 50 calories, four grams of fat, and five grams of protein. And bacon is something that actually, I would say for the first like year of our journey, we really didn't buy. We would still eat it like if we had it places, but I wasn't like going out of my way to buy it. I was usually getting turkey bacon or just no bacon at all. But then when I realized you could get center cut and have one slice for one point, it's really not bad to add like two slices to a meal because it adds so much flavor. And I like to just have them pre-made for breakfasts. Okay, then we got some lunch meat. So Adam brings a sandwich to work every 
every day and he likes to use different turkey and things like that. So he got this black pepper turkey. It's just Hillshire Farms. It's one point for the serving, which is three slices. It is 50 calories, a gram of fat, two carbs, and nine grams of protein. This is a new one for him to try. So we'll get back to you on what he thinks of it. I'm sure he'll like it. He likes anything that's like peppered. So that'll be perfect. And it says bold flavor. So <laughs> then I also got some pastrami. So this is the pastrami I like to get to use for different Reuben recipes. So if we're going to do Reuben bowls, Reuben sandwiches, Reuben wraps, anything like that, this is perfect because it's low in points for the serving of two ounces. It is one point on WW. It's 70 calories, three grams of fat, a carb and nine grams of protein. And we've also gotten turkey pastrami's before. I think Trader Joe's had one a while back, but this is just regular pastrami and that's what we enjoy. I think turkey pastrami is also low in points, but this works really well for us. Okay, then I got some 99% lean ground turkey breast. This is zero points on WW. It's 120 calories for four ounces, a gram of fat, and 28 grams of protein. So very high in protein. It's filling. That's why I like to get two pounds because I'll make a big batch of turkey burgers with it or meatballs or taco meat. So it's always just an option that I have in the fridge and I like to get two pounds so that I can make bigger batches. Okay, one of my favorite chicken sausage brands is Belinsky and usually I can find them at Fresh Time and Meyer. So I was happy to see that they had them today. And for the first time, I actually typed in the nutrition for these and realized that they're actually only one point for a link. I used to think they were two, so it's only one. So this is the organic mild Italian with bell pepper chicken sausage. One thing that I really like about these is that they don't have the casing on them. So we had a brand that we really liked that we were buying every time we went to Woodman's. And one time we had it and the casing was just like so thick and it kind of freaked us out. We did not like that. And so we haven't bought that brand since, but that's one thing that I like about this is that there's no like stringy casing. It's just like chicken. So anyway, for one link, it's 1 80 calories, two and a half grams of fat, two carbs and 12 grams of protein. So high in protein, really good option for eggs, for pizza bakes and for pasta. It's really good with red sauce or even white sauce, but we like to use these sometimes for like hearts of palm with the cauliflower cheese dip. Then I got these. So I don't think we've tried this flavor. Usually I get the sage, but they didn't have that. They just had the organic apple breakfast sausages. So I'm excited to try these. We like to have apple sausages with pancakes. So this means I'll be making some pancakes soon too. For the serving of two links, it is two points on WW. Each link is a point. It's 70 calories for two, two grams of fat, four carbs, four grams of sugar, and nine grams of protein. And I'm just excited to try these. I really, really like chicken apple sausages. I don't know what else I'd really have them with other than like pancakes or waffles or something or French toast. Maybe I'll do another French toast bake, but these will be good. Then I got some of these Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. So these are really convenient to have on hand. And I've been in a really like breakfast mood lately. I've been making big breakfast every single day. And every time I go to make it, I struggle to find a meat or like a protein to add in with the eggs, which there's a lot of protein with the eggs, but I like to add something else too, just for the flavor. And so I've been trying to get more meat options for breakfast. So this is a good option to have because I can just add a quarter cup to my eggs for two points. The serving is actually a half cup for four points. It's it's 120 calories, eight grams of fat, three carbs, two grams of sugar, and nine grams of protein. But it's just a really convenient option to have in the fridge. I like to use it to add some extra protein, make meals a little more filling, and just add a meat to my breakfast. Then Adam grabbed these for work. So these are the Jimmy Dean Delight breakfast wraps. This is the Southwest style. It's seven points for one of them. They have 300 calories, 13 grams of fat, 33 carbs, three grams of fiber, four grams of sugar, and 13 grams of protein. He likes to douse them in hot sauce. It's just a convenient thing that he can pack to bring with him to work. He really likes them and it's an easy option. So these are something we like to keep stocked in the freezer. Okay, then we got this bird's eye veggie mac and cheese. So we usually like the other one that's just like the elbows with cheddar, I think, but these are the shells with white cheddar sauce. I don't know if we've had them before. I feel like we probably have, but the pasta is made from zucchini and lentils. And we just really like these as a side option if we're having like burgers or some type of meat or something and we just need mac and cheese with it. I've actually been wanting to make a meatloaf. So I feel like a meatloaf with this mac and cheese would be really good. Adam said, yeah. So we'll probably be doing that. But for the serving, which is one and a quarter cup frozen, it's 170 calories, five grams of fat. It's got 20 carbs, two grams of sugar and 10 grams of protein. And I calculated it because that serving it said was five points, but the whole bag is 14. So Adam and I would probably split it and each have a seven point serving. Then I want to make some breaded okra. So that's why I got this. It's just frozen plain okra. 
zero points on WW and it's just a good vegetable option. I'm gonna be breading it and tossing it in the air fryer to cook. So that's just a good like appetizer option if we have like an appetizer night or again, if we have burgers or something and we want a side, this is a good side to have. Then this is one of my favorite things to get from Meyer. This is their tzatziki Greek yogurt dip. This is zero points on WW for up to three tablespoons. It might even be four, but for two tablespoons, it's 15 calories. It's got one carb and one gram of protein, but it just adds a good amount of flavor to bowls or if I need any type of tzatziki sauce or something, I like to use this one because it's low in points. And then this one's a little higher in points. This is a spinach and Parmesan Greek yogurt dip. So this is one that I like to specifically use as a sauce on pizza bakes. That's like my favorite thing to buy this for is to use for that. So I'll make two ingredient dough, then I'll spread out a serving of this as the base. Then we'll do like some type of veggie, so maybe like mushrooms or something, and then a chicken sausage and a little more cheese. And it is just a good, really flavorful option. It is so good when it's melted. I just really like this dip. So for the serving of two tablespoons, it's three points on WW. It's 50 calories, four grams of fat, three grams of protein, and two carbs. So like I said, this would be like a higher point dinner when we make it into a pizza, but I think it's worth it. And this is a really good dip option. It's also really good with just like pretzels or cucumbers. Okay, I haven't gotten these in a really long time, but we really used to enjoy them. They are the Egg Beaters Southwestern style real egg they are zero points for the serving and actually I think you can have as much as you want for zero points but the serving is three tablespoons which I think is equivalent to one egg so it's 20 calories for that four grams of protein and like I said zero points both of us really enjoy the flavor usually what I'll do is crack one regular egg and then add some of this to add just a little bit of flavor and then scramble them up but this is just usually by the eggs and I grab them every once in a while so I'm excited to have that again it's been a while since we've had it same with this so this is the silk oat creamer this is the oatmeal cookie flavor so I really like this one it has like a slight cinnamon flavor and it really does kind of taste like oatmeal cookie so this creamer is dairy free it's gluten free for the serving of a table spoon it's one point on ww it's 25 calories one gram of fat four carbs and four grams of sugar if you go up to two tablespoons it does become three points and this is one of the ones that actually froths up pretty well so if you have it cold you can get it a little bit foamy using one of these like handheld mixers and then you could use it to make like a cold foam cold brew it's really good so usually we just get that to add to our coffee drinks when we're making them at home then i also got some salted caramel quest protein shakes to use for my coffees so i'll make an espresso pot I'll add a scoop of collagen and then I'll add one of these quest protein shakes for three points So one of them is 170 calories It's three and a half grams of fat three carbs one gram of sugar and 30 grams of protein and it's three points on WW Then I also got some of the vanilla quest protein shakes So I've actually never tried these but I thought that this would be good to use as a creamy ingredient I'm trying to make them higher in protein. So I'm gonna try these out We do like the fair life for the creamies, but I just want to see how this is so same as the others It's 160 calories three and a half grams of fat. It's got three carbs, one gram of sugar, and 30 grams of protein, and it's three points for one of them. Then I needed some plain non-fat Greek yogurt, so I just like to get the Chobani brand. This is what I get to make two ingredient dough, but also what I use to make chicken salad. So I have some shredded chicken in the fridge that I want to make into chicken salad for Adam to bring to lunch. So I'm going to use some of this for that, and then some light mayonnaise. Then I also got some paste nacho jalapeno queso dip. This has just become my favorite because Trader Joe's doesn't have a queso anymore that I enjoy. This this one is really good. It's only one point for the serving of two tablespoons. It's 35 calories and I just like to use it on top of wraps or with nachos or bowls. Just anything that I need queso for. Then I got some light and fit Greek vanilla yogurt. So I've just been buying the tubs like this because it makes more sense for me instead of buying the individual ones. If I buy the individual ones, I like to get the toasted coconut vanilla, but they don't have that like this. So I just get the vanilla. It tastes just as good. I add berries to it and some Kashi peanut butter cereal. For the serving that it has on here, it's actually three points. Usually the yogurts I do are two points. So I just do a little bit less, but it's 90 calories for that serving, three points, 10 carbs, eight grams of sugar, and 14 grams of protein. Then I needed some more light sour cream so I just got the Meyer brand this time to try out it's the same as the other one we used to get which is Daisy but this was just cheaper it's one point for two tablespoons on WW 30 calories it's got two grams of fat three carbs two grams of sugar and one gram of protein so I just again use this for things like when I need queso if we're having like tacos or something and I want sour cream it's nice to have that on hand but also if I'm going to be making any dips or anything so this was something random I just got but it just sounded good and it caught my attention it's just a green onion dip mix and 
I'm just gonna add it to the light sour cream. I don't know if I'm gonna do like laughing cow and make it kind of cheesy or something too, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a dip with that just for us. I don't even know. I just wanted to try that. Then I also got some mild taco seasoning. It's just the Taco Bell brand. And this is what I add to the 99% lean or 93% lean ground turkey or chicken. I needed some more grated Parmesan. So I just got the Meyer brand. This is one point for two teaspoons, 20 calories, one and a half grams of fat and two grams of protein. And this is just one of my favorite ways to add some good flavor to vegetables or to pasta dishes. So we go through this stuff pretty quickly and we always have it on hand. Then I needed some more barbecue sauce. So this is my all time favorite Sweet Baby Ray's. It is the no sugar added original. I do like the sweet and spicy, but I really do just like the original too. It's really good when I do like a barbecue mac and cheese. And for the serving, it's zero points for two tablespoons. It's 15 calories four carbs and one gram of protein. And I just really like the flavor. It doesn't upset my stomach or anything like some of the no sugar added products do, but I really like that. Then I got some panko breadcrumbs. I just use these to make turkey burgers or to bread anything that I'm gonna be breading. So this is 4C, which I feel like these actually scan as lower in points than normal compared to some of the other ones I've used, but for a half cup, it's 100 calories, 21 carbs, two grams of sugar and three grams of protein. And usually it just depends. Usually I do like a third cup for three points points in the recipes, but it just depends what I'm making. I got some more roasted red peppers. So I like to just get the strips like this. These are zero points on WW. They add so much flavor to different recipes. I've actually been adding them to sandwiches more often and they're really good. So just a good zero point ingredient to add some vegetables to your meals. Then I got some refried beans. I just get the fat free kind and these are the Meyer brand. So these are zero points on WW. For a half cup, it's hundred calories and there's three and a half servings. There's 19 carbs and seven grams of protein. And what I like to do with these is just add some seasoning. Sometimes I'll add like minced onion, some garlic, and then different seasonings. And then we'll use them either inside of wraps. I'll spread some on there. Or if we're going to have like rice or something, we'll just have beans on the side. So this is just a good filling ingredient that we like to use every once in a while. And then some green beans. So I just like to get the no salt added French style green beans. These are zero points. I like to make them into a side dish. So I'll cook them up with some onion and mushroom and add a little Parmesan. And that's like one of our all time favorite sides to have with meals. It's a really, really good way to get extra vegetables in. And it's so good. It doesn't even feel like we're eating vegetables. Then I just needed some more mustard or I guess Adam did too for his sandwiches for lunch. So we got some Dijon mustard. It's zero points, five calories for a teaspoon. And mustard's just a really good way to add some flavor to meals. This is also the mustard I like to use if I'm gonna make a hard boiled egg and like mash it up in a cup with this and some salt and pepper. It's a really good snack and it's zero points. And we haven't gotten this in a while. This is the Siete green enchilada sauce, but we really do like this. So a quarter cup is one point on WW. It's 25 calories, one gram of fat, five carbs, two grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. And it just has really good flavor. It's actually made with apple cider vinegar and avocado oil. And what I like to do with this one is I'll make wraps. So I'll do what I said with the refried beans. I'll take some wraps, spread the beans, add some taco meat, roll them up, and then I'll top them with some enchilada sauce and a little cheese and just bake them in the oven. And they are delicious, so easy to throw together. And we really like that sauce. I needed some soy sauce, so I just got some low sodium. This is just the brand that we like. It's zero points. And I use this for different recipes like sesame noodles or fried rice. And then I got some sliced mushrooms. This is something that I just always like to have in the pantry because I like to add it to pizzas. For some reason, I like these types of mushrooms on pizzas, the canned ones. They're zero points and I just like the flavor of them and the convenience of always having mushrooms if I want to add them. Even if I do the green bean dish, sometimes I'll do those mushrooms with it. Then I got some bagel thins. So this time I got the everything flavor, which I don't think I've gotten that before, but I know I like everything bagels. So these are just an option for breakfast. I like to make some eggs and either add like ham or turkey sausage or chicken sausage or bacon. And then these are just three points for one of them. So I'll toast one of these up and it just makes a perfect sandwich. For one, it's 110 calories, one gram of fat, 25 carbs, five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. Then we also needed a few tortillas. So I have some regular size tortillas in the fridge, but I wanted to get large ones because I actually prefer to use these and just make one big wrap usually. But these are two points on WW. They are the large extreme wellness wraps. 
For one tortilla, it's 80 calories, two grams of fat, 24 carbs, 17 grams of fiber, and eight grams of protein. So very high in fiber and protein. And this is what I like to use to make like breakfast wraps or if I'm gonna do like a turkey BLT wrap or something, those are perfect. They're the perfect size to fit a lot of stuff in them and they're low point. Then I can smell these, they're so strong. I've never seen them before, but we're excited to try them. They're the queso and jalapeno carb counter La Banderita tortillas. So they're the smaller size and they are actually only one point for one tortilla. You can have two of them for one point, but then if you have three of them, it's two points. So three of them for two points is not bad. They smell very strong like jalapeno. So like I said, they're queso jalapeno. For one tortilla, it's 35 calories, one gram of fat, eight carbs, seven grams of fiber, and two grams of protein. So high in fiber. And I don't know if we'll save these for a snack review. They're so strong smelling and I'm excited to see how they are. We've tried a few other queso tortillas and didn't really think they had much of a different flavor than normal ones. So I'm excited to see how these are. And those are new, we've never seen those before. Then moving on to some pasta, we were completely out. So we needed some Barilla Protein Plus pasta. Pasta. I like to get the thin spaghetti or the angel hair. So I got some thin spaghetti and some rotini. These are four points for the serving usually, which is two ounces dry. It's 190 calories, one gram of fat, 38 carbs, five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and 10 grams of protein. And this pasta is just the one that I think tastes the most like regular normal pasta that we always used to buy. We just like to get this because it's higher in protein and higher in fiber. It makes us more satisfied and full and we really like the flavor of it. So this stuff I like to use with like red sauce usually the rotini and then the spaghetti i like to do more of like a white sauce and like chicken sausage or salmon or something like that also got some bonza cavatappi this is pretty much the only noodle i buy of bonza now because some of the other ones kind of fall apart but i can always rely on these ones these always work out really well and we really like them so they are four points for the serving of two ounces, but if you have half the box, which is four ounces, it's seven points, so it goes down a point. But for the two ounce serving, it's 190 calories, three grams of fat, 35 carbs, five grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, and 11 grams of protein. So higher in protein, higher in fiber, lower in carbs, if that's what you're looking for. They do taste a little bit like chickpeas. They have a different texture and flavor than normal pasta, especially compared to like the Barilla Protein Plus. So for both of these, the serving's four points. They're pretty similar, but like I said, this is a little bit more different than regular pasta. So both of them are good options that we like to have on hand all the time. And then the last one that we got is some al dente carbonata. So I love this stuff. This is actually the roasted garlic fettuccine and this whole bag is 15 points. So usually we do usually three servings. I think we've split the bag like one time before, but we'll usually get three servings out of it for five points each, but for two cups dry, which is a fifth of the bag, so for three points, it would be 180 calories, one and a half grams of fat, 32 carbs, eight grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and 16 grams of protein. So it's a very high protein option. I just love the texture of them. Again, it's more like a fettuccine, so it's kind of like a, I don't know, softer noodle. I don't know how to explain it, but I think that they're very good. So I always like to get these at Meijer. Then I keep seeing everywhere that one of the new things that someone had posted on TikTok or something as a recipe is lemonade with vanilla protein powder and to make it like a frosted shake type thing. So it's kind of like from Chick-fil-A, I guess they have a lemonade. So I really wanted to try some protein powder in my lemonade to see how it is. So I got this Minute Maid Zero Sugar Lemonade. It's zero points on WW and it's zero calories and one carb. I've never had this one before, but we're just getting it for that recipe to see how it is. So I'll let you guys know how that is. I also got some cashew milk. So this is the unsweetened plain cashew milk. It is one point for a cup, it's 25 calories, two grams of fat, one carb, and something that I use pretty much every day for my protein shakes, for my coffee, or for different recipes that need milk. Like even if it's like mac and cheese or something, this works really well for it because it's nice and creamy. And then Adam got some coffee for himself. So he likes to drink this cold brew coffee. It's just the unsweet black. So it's zero points for the serving, 15 calories for 12 ounces, three carbs. And he likes to add either the creamer that I showed earlier or some different skinny syrups. So it's just a good thing for him to have in the fridge so he's not always tempted to go to Dunkin. Then Adam got this Kashi cereal. So this has become one of his favorites. This is their maple waffle crisp. For the serving, which is a cup, it's five points on WW. It's 140 calories, two and a half grams of fat, 30 carbs, four grams of fiber. 
It's got nine grams of sugar and three grams of protein. This is one of the ingredients that he likes to mix in his snack mixes to add a little sweetness, or sometimes he'll just have it plain as a snack or with milk. Also the cashew milk would work really well with this. So these are really good if you find them. They're kind of harder to find, but that's become one of his favorite cereals now. And then he also picked this out. So these are the Kodiak birthday cake protein balls. I've made them before and you're supposed to add the mix that it comes with, then almond butter or whatever nut butter you want to use, honey or any other liquid sweetener and water. So I think last time I made them, they came out to about three points for a ball and it makes 14 of them. And we really liked them. They were just a good quick snack that we had in the fridge. For one of them without the other ingredients, so just the mix, it's 100 calories, two grams of fat, 15 carbs, two grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and seven grams of protein. They have a really good birthday cake flavor. We tried a couple other flavors that they had and we definitely agreed that the birthday cake was the best. So bought this again to make those. And then this is one of my favorite things from Meyer as well. These are their Meyer twice baked crisps in the flavor cranberry pistachio. It's three points for the serving of about 11 crisps, 80 calories, one and a half grams of fat, 15 carbs, seven grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. And this is one of those snacks that I just eat plain. I'll just portion it out and then have it with like some grapes and like a meat stick or something. And it's a perfect filling snack. They're so good. I just really love them. So they're just like these little crisps and they have little pistachios and cranberry chunks in them. So really good. Then speaking of meat sticks, every time I go to Meyer, I get my handful of Mighty Sparks Honey Jalapeno which I'm like down to one more I think so perfect timing for this these are two points on WW they are 60 calories for one two grams of fat and six grams of protein and they have a few other flavors but by far the honey jalapeno is my favorite it's so good it's got a little sweetness sometimes it'll be spicy if you get like a big chunk of jalapeno but usually not too spicy so these are really convenient for me to bring on the go if we're going hiking if I'm gonna be just running errands during the day or need a quick snack I love these Okay, then Adam needed more applesauce to bring to work. So this is his new favorite flavor. He gets this one every time. He used to switch up the flavors he would get every time and now it's just the Granny Smith. So he loves this. He really likes how sour it is though. For these, they're the no sugar added. So they're actually zero points on WW. For one container, it is 50 calories and 13 carbs. So he really likes this. Convenient thing for him to bring to work. And I like to have them on hand because I can use them for baking. The Granny Smith I can actually still use for baking, but they have the other flavors as well. I really like the blueberry one too. Okay, then. I have been eating more nuts lately. I just have been craving them and I feel like in summer especially I start to eat more and more of them. So I've been trying some new ones. I didn't know that they had honey roasted almonds and these are only five points for the serving which is not bad. I love anything that's honey roasted flavor so I'm super excited to try these. For the serving of about 28 nuts which is an ounce it's 160 calories, 13 grams of fat, 9 carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 5 grams of sugar, and 5 grams of protein. Nuts are higher in points. They are higher in fat but it's good fat Bad. They're really good for you. There are just so many good benefits with nuts. So that's why I try to incorporate them and I just use my weeklies for them. So I'm glad I got these. And then speaking of nuts, I got some more. I got a trail mix that is just cranberry, almond, and cashew. So for the serving of three tablespoons, it's 140 calories, eight grams of fat, 15 carbs. It's got 11 grams of sugar and three grams of protein. And for the serving of three tablespoons, it's five points on WW. So again, same as the almonds, higher in points, but worth it to incorporate and use some weeklies for it. And then our favorite love crunch. So for the serving of a quarter cup, it's four points on WW, 150 calories, five grams of fat, 18 carbs. It's got two grams of fiber, six grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. We like to use this just to have as like a snack, but I also like to add it to my yogurt every once in a while, especially if I run out of my Kashi peanut butter cereal. It's got little peanuts and dark chocolate chunks and the granola is super good. So if you find this stuff, it's usually kind of hard to find. Like they have it a lot of the time, but it's always out of stock. So we like to get it at Walmart too, but we got it at Meyer today. Then Adam got some rice cakes. So these are the caramel rice cakes. It's two points for one, 50 calories, 11 carbs, three grams of sugar. And he just likes to top these with either some nuts and more or some type of like spread and then he'll put bananas and it's just a good filling snack that he can have at night or after the gym. And he likes the caramel flavor specifically. Then we also got some new pretzels. So these are the Pop Daddy pretzels, which are crazy. They're very like bold, flavorful, but this flavor is beer cheese. So these are for 30 sticks, five points on WW. It's 140 calories, seven grams of fat, 17 carbs, two grams of sugar, and two grams of protein and I'm about to run out of space on my memory card but we're still gonna try these really quick because I want to know how they are so yeah he's excited yeah <laughs> uh these and I like these because they're like the long thin ones these are the mustard ones that Adam always likes to get the mm -hmm. brand the pop daddy yellow mustard but let's see how these beer cheese ones are cheers, cheers. 
Bye. Those are really good. What do you think? Those are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> not too flavorful though. It's like the perfect amount. And for five points, not bad for how much is on them. But anyway, now my mouth is watering. I should have just waited two seconds because I don't even have much left. But we got a bag of light air. This is the classic flavor. So for the serving of about three cups, it's five points on WW. It's 150 calories, nine grams of fat, 16 carbs, and two grams of protein. This is just a gluten-free, it's like a puff corn. And the classic is kind of just like a buttery flavor. So this is something that I like to not have a full serving. I just do a little bit in a snack mix and it adds the perfect amount of salt and flavor. I don't know, but I really like these. And then the last thing that we got, some sun-made fruity raisin snacks. So the peach is really good. I think it tastes like peach rings. And then the blue raspberry is my favorite. It is sour. So if you don't like sour, it has a little bit of sourness to it. They're sour blue raspberry. They taste very much like a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. And these are just a good snack, especially when I want gummy candy late at night. So for the serving of one pouch, it's two points on WW. It's 60 calories and 15 carbs. And these are just a really good option to have. These are pretty hard to find. I can usually get them at Meijer and they were stocked up today. So I got a couple boxes of these and I just got a box of these, but I'm excited that they had them and those are just something that I have all the time now. That wraps up everything from our grocery haul today. Like I said, we got so much stuff, but it was a lot of like basic stuff that we needed to stock up on. I'm feeling good for the week. I'm excited to try this protein lemonade. I think we're going to do that soon, but yeah, I'm feeling good. So anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and we will see you next time. Bye.